tonight, New York City police are searching for a group of men they say are responsible for a series of brazen daylight robberies on mopeds over the weekend. Separate incidents in different parts of the city involving the use of electric scooters to quickly approach victims, strike, and then speed away. On Friday, the first attack caught on a security camera released by police. A 64-year-old man walking in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan doesn't notice two men on mopeds approaching him from behind. One man gets off, allegedly grabs the 12 thousand dollar Rolex on the man's wrist, yanks it off and appears to push the man to the ground. The victim runs after them but can't keep up with the motorized scooters. The man suffered a few scrapes but refused medical attention. Then on Saturday, a nearly identical crime, also caught on video footage released by the NYPD. Two young women walking near the famous Guggenheim Museum on the Upper East Side, attacked by two men on a scooter. First, the driver appears to swipe for the woman's necklace, but she dodges to the ground. The passenger then then goes in for a second try, but the victim's friend drags her away, allowing the woman to get in a few well-placed kicks. The would-be thieves quickly roll out without taking anything. The woman suffered only minor injuries. NYC Mayor Eric Adams addressed the vehicles used in crimes at a press conference today. Motorcycles, ATVs, uh, creating havoc in our system in our city. We saw how they use in criminal behavior. We're zeroing in on those types of vehicles and those who are using these tools. So our holistic approach, yes, it was successful in decreasing shooters, decreasing homicides, but we have so much more to do around those serious uh, predatory crimes like burglary and robbery. But there's no conversation about how are we going to implement the rules that are on the books to stop these vehicles from hurting people. Law enforcement expert Manny Gomez says such crimes are difficult to prevent and hard to punish. They trace back that motor vehicle back to the perpetrator. They identify him or them, they arrest them, and they're out the next day. It all comes as major crime in New York City has risen significantly since last year. Robbery, assault, burglary, grand larceny, and car theft all seeing major increases. Only murder has fallen since this date in 2021. Too, right? All right, Maya Eaglin joins us now live in studio. Maya, I was just asking you, I mean, I mean, these thieves, it's hard to find them because they're wearing helmets and they're wearing masks. On top of that, their bikes don't have plates, so they're not really traceable. And authorities are asking for public tips and to call the Crime Stoppers line to help with that information. And this happens at a time when New York City is just becoming overrun with motorized bicycles and scooters and everything else uh, that, that appears to be like a motorcycle. Some of the victims fought back. What, what, do, what do experts say? So the person we talked today said that might not be the best idea. Uh, their advice is to throw your items, your valuables away from you and just make yourself not an easy target. Stay away from dark places and don't be alone if you can avoid it. Yeah, but even that first one we showed was in daylight. That right. was wild. Okay, Maya, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.